SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I never thought I'd hear myself saying SpongeBob in a video, but here we are. This is free on PS Plus April 2022, and in the series of videos, I'll be covering all the trophies and all the collectibles. It's a fairly simple platinum, very simple, but hopefully, these videos should still save you a bit of time, so I'll be showing you all the collectibles and all the trophies along the way so you do not have to yeah, refer Gary, to any other sure guides like and I'm also doing a text guide for this check the description for that now in this first area where you begin this is Spongebob's house and you need to collect every single thing in this house what I found is you need to collect everything before you pick up the golden spatula if you do not normally cannot pop this trophy again and it just means you have to start a new game it's fairly easy that first room we went in, there are three shinies up on the ceiling, so just make sure you get them. And let's follow them away in here. As well as getting all the collectibles in here and the shinies, collecting everything, you'll also find one sock and one golden spatula, which are your main collectibles. Don't worry if you end up with slightly more or slightly less shinies. That just depends on your combo. Just make sure you do collect everything push, push, that's push, the main push. thing to do here so just collect them guys get the trophy and i'll see you outside needs to do laundry. Uh, there was nothing. Go away, SpongeBob. Once you're outside and you've got the time for tutorial trophy, come in between Squidward's and Patrick's house here. Patrick's house is that lump, that round lump of mud. You want to hit the switch near his house and then come around the back near SpongeBob's and hit the switch here, which is a timer. And then quickly go back to Patrick's house, jump on the platforms, and get the golden underwear and the golden spatula and then head inside Squidward's house once you've done that. Now I can wear more pairs of underwear. This is great. I feel like a new sponge. Inside Squid's house, you need to destroy everything, so do that, and once you've done it, you'll be able to get a golden spatula and a sock. Sometimes they do spawn a bit earlier, but the main thing, get a golden spatula, a sock for destroying everything. And also, once you've done that, talk to Squidward 10 times, and it'll give you a misc trophy. And then once you've done it, leave the house, and we'll go and talk to Patrick afterwards. Hey, Squidward. Hey. 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 Hey, SpongeBob. He is Patrick. Talk to him, What's up? get one of his socks, then head into his house, smash his couch, which will reveal another sock, and then exit his house, and we're going to head into the first main area, which is Jellyfish Fields. Ah, uh, the rolling green. 
first thing we're going to do here is get a sock. Now when it comes to destroying enemies, there is a trophy for killing every single enemy type of a robot. So every type of robot. And also for killing 100 robots with each character. There's three characters. You've got Bob, you've got Patrick, and you've got Sandy. Bob, it'll come pretty easily. But normally with Patrick and Sandy, you normally have to kill, go out of your way to kill a few. So there's our sock, we just get it. So as you go along, when you're playing as Sandy and Patrick, guys, do not go too far out of the way, but along the path we're going, if you see any robots, just go and kill them. And hopefully that should save a little tiny grind later on. We do need to grind some shinies a little bit, by the way, but it's not too bad of a grind. It's only like 20 minutes or so. So you've got that sock. The next sock is just over here. You need to jump over to this round platform near the water and slam the switch. It will spawn some barrels and then you jump across the barrels, it will take you to the sock. By the way, in my text guide I have got all the collectibles, all numbered and all colour coded as well. So make way over there guys, get that sock and then going to make your way up to Gary. Love opening presents. Hey, Gary, what's up? Once you reach Gary and you've spawned the bungee jump, jump on that and then you'll bungee down and grab that golden spatula. Come back out of it afterwards, hit the switch, and then make your way to the platforms and you'll encounter your second robot type, the Hammer. Yep, another enemy type here, Hammer. You'll kill a lot of them as you go along the way. One thing I want to mention is there are quite a lot of skips in this game, but some of them can be quite difficult to do. So I've left most of them out. And when it comes to fast traveling, there normally be a box near the start of an area and a box near the end of an area. Once you come within a certain proximity of them, they will open up and they can use one, you can use them to transport to the start of that area. And when it comes to traveling to different areas, if you press options, you can look at each zone. And you can actually click on golden dispatches within that zone that you've discovered or come close to and they can actually fast travel to them so just bear that in mind because you'll be doing it quite a lot there's another sock we just got sock number seven and in a second we're going to be getting sock number eight be very careful with this one water does kill bob he's a sponge he will absorb it and he'll choke on it very fast so be very careful in water yeah you hop across these tikis there's your eighth sock. Once you've got that, over to the surfboard like platform, make way across. We're gonna destroy a duplicate to Tron. Yeah, quite a mouthful that name. Behind it will be a switch that will lower the gate to progress. Grab a golden spatula and then walk to the next area. There's almost always a golden spatula at the end of every area. On this slide, there'll be quite a few of these throughout the game. Quite some difficult ones as well, very narrow tracks. There'll be a jump on the right, just here, that ledge, jump up to it. And there'll be a sock just around the bend, there it is. And then get ready near the end, you need to double, double jump onto another platform. This one here for another sock, sock number 10. When you're on them slides, by the way, you can actually hold back and it'll slow you down. So if you're having trouble to manoeuvre and keep up, just hold back and it'll slow you down. Here, you need to press all three of the switches around the area. If you can't make them jumps, just take the normal path, follow it around to the switch. That's the first switch, there'll be a second one up here, then the third one along the other side. Smash them switches, activate the other platforms, head over to Patrick and he'll give you another spatula. Hey, 
SpongeBob. Patrick will give you golden spatula number six. With Patrick, his abilities he pick he can pick things up and he can slam. He can't do any of the bubble moves, just pick things up like so, and you can use them to actually hit far off switches or other things he may be able to. And when you SpongeBob, he can do he can jump a little bit further. It's very tricky to do and it will take a little bit getting used to. But with SpongeBob, if you attack near the top of this jump, you will sort of hover in the air for about a second. And then you do your double jump and then attack again at the top of that double jump and that will make him hover in the air for another second. If you slap too early or too late, you won't hover, you'll just either fall down when you slap. So you may see me doing it a few times, that is pretty much how you do Spongebob. Jump, double jump to make it last a bit longer and get a bit more distance. When you get in this cave, just carry on and eventually you'll have to climb up some walls by stacking the throw fruit and once you get to that point there'll be a sock just behind you but I'll pop up when we get to there guys just point out that sock to you so you don't miss it oh that's much better Here's a whistle. Ooh, a present in every one. Ouch. Grab the sock, sock number 11, and then climb back up and progress along the main path. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Oh, play as a whistle. Once you get in this ice cave, pick up the freezy fruit, lob it in the lake to freeze the water, skate across and get that sock in the far corner, and then make your way up. And just for the exit, will be a golden spatula. Remember to kill the enemies, as Patrick and Sandy whenever you can. Just do not go too far out of your way to do so. Ouch. 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 Once you get near the exit, what you'll have to do is ground pound near one of the hammer robots. Not too close because you'll kill it. It needs to be just within range and sort of so splash damage and it will stun them. And once it's stunned, you can pick it up and lob it that switch to lower that gate and so you can access a golden spatula. Once you've done that, head into the next area. Ahoy there! A new enemy type here, robot, the Tartar robot, I believe it's called. Make your way through, you'll come across Mrs. Puff, talk to her, and then go on the bridge past her. What you have to do, there'll be a cannon in the distance launching the hammers at you, stun them, and then use them to destroy the five chimneys in the water. Once you've done so, a golden spatula will appear. Grab that golden spatula, which will be golden spatula number eight and then progress through the area you will first encounter a clam which you have to pay 150 shinies to unlock and the sock will be after that is a whistle? Ouch. Oh. I don't think Spongebob's underwear fits quite right Oh, boy, oh, boy. 
That's much better. Why would I crush them? How many of these do I have to carry? Let's get over here near this second pancake like large platform. Jump across to it, and they can jump across to the sock. Hidden little alcove in the mountain. That should be sock number 13. Head back and then carry it along the path, and we'll shortly be coming up to sock number 14. And it's also a box just here. That's much better. When you get to this long, tongue-shaped bridge, instead of going over it, take the left path, hug in the wall, and you'll come to suck number 14. Once you've got that, just carry on, and you'll come to bus stop where you can switch back to Spawn Bob, and they can wall jump up a wall. Shortly after that, we'll find another golden spatula just before the exit. Here it is, golden spatula number nine. Grab this, and then we're gonna to head to the next area where we're gonna face our first boss. Take that! Bubble buddy! Fresh like a spring breeze. Fairly straightforward boss, all the bosses are in this, to be honest. So Jellyfish King, just give him a Will Smith slap three times. What you need to do is wait for him to sort of slam himself on the floor and you'll see the field around him descend and it will send out a shockwave. When he's about to send out a shockwave, you have to double jump over it and then attack his main body while he doesn't have the electric around him. Do that three times, three Will Smith slaps, make sure they're harder so they actually do some damn damage. And once you've done that, he'll die and you can grab the jelly from beneath where he spawned. Make sure you grab his jelly and then once you've done so, there'll be another slide. Got the jelly and the jellyfish king trophy slide down here and on the first bend keep an eye out below because there's a ledge we need to slide onto so on the first bend look down there it is now if you need to slide down just hold back and then carry on along here and you'll come to another sock should be sock number 15 which will also pop the trophy sock getter that's for getting 15 socks carry on and once you get to the jump at the end there'll be a golden spatula you need to double jump to this there it is, sock, uh, golden spatula number 10, sorry not a sock, and that get the trophy spatula seeker. Once you've done so, warp back to the first golden spatula in the fast travel taxi menu. That'll take you back to the start. Once you're back at the start, talk to Squidward, and he'll give you another golden spatula for completing the mission. Jellyfishing, golden spatula number 11. Once you've got that, go back into the taxi menu and you want to warp to the Spelunkin Golden Spatula. When you spawn in, you'll be Patrick, and then you warp straight back 
to that first golden spatula of the area. And that'll actually spawn you in, but you'll be Patrick this time. So back to the top of the hill. Spatula, you'll be Patrick this time. And then all you're gonna do is head forward. There'll be a freezy fruit. Use it to freeze the lake. Once the lake is frozen, jump on the lake, skate over to sock number 16. And then once you've done so, walk back to Bikini Bottom, guys. It's quite right. Ooh, again, again. You sure got to carry a lot of stuff around. Back at Bikini Bottom and that will be the end of the video. The next area we'll be doing will be Downtown Bikini Bottom. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.